Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the wrap up on Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. Back after a couple of Mondays, we've been a little busy, or things have been going on, or whatever the case may be. But we got with us a crew. First of all, from Beacon, New York, he's the only Mayhemer with a future endeavored letter from the WWE. He is mad, Mike. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sunday Night WrestleMania musical guest Elias. And your host, Alexa Bliss. That's that's not bad. That's that was, actually that was that's good. really you, wow. Thank you. I didn't know that was in your in your repertoire there. Thank you and good night. Musical guest. Also, I lo- I, I've been, I've been doing Dom Pardo impressions since my balls dropped. <laughs> that's not even a joke. And also with us on the eve of his endeavors to trans world. It is Larry. Hi. Hi. You have your barricades all all ready to go. Everything is almost all done. I got to go home and do a few more things. He's joining us tonight to talk wrestling. What kind of world are you going to? It's a haunted house. It's a haunted attraction trade show. Which I I, I expect full. They should come up with a better name. Oh, the company that runs it's called Transworld. They do Christmas shows too. They should come up with a better name because I'm picturing something vastly different in trust me enough people go to this thing that they're pretty good on branding uh so not to someone who's never heard it before it, well this is this is the insider culture that uh that that dutters and larry live in uh i'll send you some photos mike yeah yeah it's, it's pretty interesting I'm, I'm i can only gather what those or you could listen to the scarehouse podcast on the sorgatron media uh network and uh and find out more about uh the trans world in the past yes a lot of their experiences there. Ha, cheap plug. All right, so uh, let's see if I remember how this podcast goes. Uh, <laughs> Musical guest. No, no, that's a different show. Uh, so <laughs> what is your awesome in wrestling this week? For me, it was seeing off a good friend, DJ Z, this past bah, 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 bah. weekend. Thank you. There were so on, actually, many. Hold on, Sorg, Sorg. I, I, can't just, I can't just do the simple air horn for this. Okay. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Wow. There were many air horns played as uh, DJ Z did his Spiro L speech. I still have to edit their uh, IWC's 18th anniversary uh, show. Uh, and uh, it, it was really cool to, to see that. And they put together a video that included um, his first uh, heavyweight title win from 2008, which happened to be my first weekend doing ringside for IWC. That was wow. a really cool kind of huh. connector there. In the, yeah, yeah, in two thousand eight. Uh, so it was cool, but after seeing you know probably a couple years of watching uh, Shima Zion at the time uh, over the the couple of uh, you know years at IWC, uh, but uh, to see him grow from to that and see everything that's happened uh, since. So and uh, we can officially say good luck to uh, DJ Z going off uh, signed to WWE. Uh, we're yes. reporting to NXT soon. Uh, uh, so officially, excited. so I, I can't see the. So excited. Can't wait to see what happens with him. Is he still DJ Z? Do they do something else with him? Um, does he just you know become the DJ for Elias? I, who knows? Oh my god! Oh god! Remix well, album. What I, what I need to see, Sorg. What I need to see is I need a tag team called Electric Mayhem. <laughs> With DJ Z and Mustafa Ali. Absolutely. Well, there's a, that needs I to need happen. It. Absolutely. I need it. And <laughs> and since we're doing Electric Mayhem, Nikki Cross can be Animal. <laughs> <laughs> She's the Mayhem. Yeah. Musical guest. <laughs> can you do the bump of a bum in that voice? Bump of a bum. That works. That All right, works. I'm going home. We're not topping that. Larry, I don't know if you've been watching much wrestling with uh, your preparations for this week. Is it what's what's the great, um, greatest in wrestling, or maybe some news that you've seen over the weekend? What did I see tonight? Uh, saw the women's tag match announcement. Mm-hmm. 
That was pretty good. Mm-hmm. Huh, that's about it. What else? What did I miss? So the, um, I actually saw something great tonight. I'm wrong. What did you, you see? What you see? It was the only thing I really enjoyed about the show. Okay. Um, the WrestleMania match we should have had: Kurt Angle versus Chad Gable. Yes. That was very good. Yes. Damn that it, was very good. They I were liked doing, that a lot. That it should have been the WrestleMania. They match. were doing headlocks and getting this is awesome chance. They yes, and. The cameras picked up what Chad said to Kurt before the match started. Mm-hmm. That like made me tear up a little bit. Absolutely. What do you say? Thanks, thanks, Dad. <laughs> thanks, Dad. <laughs> essentially, <laughs> he essentially said, "Thanks, wrestling, Dad." <laughs> <laughs> but well, you know. no, that was <clears throat> that was phenomenal. Honestly, Kurt should just retire after that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's not going to, but he should. Uh, you know, something I okay. So, so we're getting into the show and, and getting into the Kurt Angle thing. Um, I I thought it was great that the of course the internet was vehemently vile against Baron Corbin being announced as the hand picked opponent for Kurt Angle at WrestleMania. Really? Yes. Yep. That's what that's what we're getting at Mania. That's what we're getting. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Not just the internet. The crowd in Chicago booed and chanted, "We want Cena." Oh, wow. <laughs> Did not catch that. <laughs> yeah, they wow. said we want Cena. Oh, if that's not a sign, I don't know what is, man. That's yeah. almost as that's almost as big as Kofi getting pushed but to the main event. My my favorite my favorite reaction at almost as he always is, Rusev tweeted, Come on at real Kurt Angle, I'll bring the Russian flag in the tank. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Hey, maybe we can swing over to maybe we can swing over to SmackDown, and make that happen. Well, uh, all right, but if, if he if he swings over SmackDown for one match, it needs to be against Daniel Bryan. <laughs> it needs to be mm-hmm. against Daniel Bryan in an exhibition match. Mm-hmm. Just something that can just happen at Access or something, right? Oh yeah, yeah. They'll just throw that away for free. Yeah, you know, it's not for yeah, free. Definitely. It's for the people who paid for access. Yeah, yeah. The, the forty dollar fee that, that definitely will happen. Well, they just threw away Kurt Angle and Chad Gable. They don't care about Chad Gable. Oh. Yeah. There's that. I suppose <laughs> they don't care about Chad Gable so much so to the point that they didn't. E- the announcers didn't even acknowledge that Chad Gable came out in full American Alpha gear and music. With his towel and everything, ready, with willing, his and towel, cool. mm-hmm. like he didn't come out as Bobby Roode's stepson. Like, mm. it was great. So uh, he's literally the redhead stepchild. Well, I guess he's not redheaded of WWE. Yeah, it's Bobby Roode's stepson. He's Kurt Angle's stepson. Then you got then you got Apollo Creed defending Kurt Angle like he is his son. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you said Apollo Creed again. It's Apollo Cruz. Ah, uh, damn it. I was like, I, I, I paused you, for a moment, too. He wishes it was Apollo Creed. I mean, don't we all? Yes. Yeah, yes, well. we do. American Hero versus American Dragon. I dig it, says When's Tina. his contract up? Who? Apollo Cruz. Apollo Cruz? Who knows? Oh, I don't know what he would do. I, I mean, he'll do great. A-E-W. A-E-W. <laughs> T-shirt, <laughs> company. T-shirt company. T-shirt company. No, honestly, Uha Nation and AEW would be fine. That's, that's good. Mm-hmm. Uha Nation versus Kenny Omega, I'm here for it. But Apollo Crews is literally nothing. Yeah. He, th- there are a lot of people who are literally a void on Raw. Mm-hmm. Do you know Raw only had three matches at Fastlane? Wow. Really? Raw only had three matches at Fastlane. The rest for SmackDown. Yep. Everything else was SmackDown. Even Becky versus Charlotte, although it was about the Raw women's title, is a SmackDown match. <laughs> This has been the trend for a very long time. Like, if you look back at the pay-per-views since SummerSlam, Raw has not had many pay-per-view matches because there's no champion. And there's always been some kind of three-man bland action. Three-man bland? I almost fell asleep during the main event. Three-man bland. Three man, yeah. it's a three man bland. Musical guest, three man bland. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, but so Braun, Braun showing up on Saturday Night Live before Mania, right? I mean, no, no, no. Come on, Categor- categorically not. That makes sense. 
it makes sense he's not going to do it unless he destroys the weekend update set, which would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it would be amazing. It's never going to happen, would, but would, it would, would be amazing. That. Now, I don't think... Hold on, actually... Talking about Raw for a second, I'm going to see if Saturday Night Live has announced who the host is Mania Weekend. Oh, you're telling me to talk about Raw? Yes. Okay. I thought it was Alexa I Bliss. So... No, no, who the SNL host is Mania Weekend. I, oh. think, I think it means. Um, no, Alexa Bliss is the host, and also Elias is the headlining musical guest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, make... my God. If he finishes a song, I'm going to lose my shit. Yes. Oh, boy. Uh oh. Oh boy. Yes. Alright, well all right, they're definitely not doing anything. Um should I should I say who the host is in Don Pardo voice? Yeah, sure. You have to now. Musical guest Sarah Borillis and your host, Kit Harrington. Who? Kit Harrington. I don't know any John... either of these people. John Snow. Uh oh. really? Who's the other person? Yeah. Uh, I don't know who that person Some musician. is. Wait, you John know. Snow is the host of WrestleMania weekend? No, 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 no. John Snow is the host Saturday of Night SNL Live. WrestleMania week. Oh, yes. Okay. Because I, I was looking, I'm like, well, maybe if they got, like, Batista to host SNL. Oh. That, you know, because remember. It's leading into like, Avengers. Well, yeah, he can plug Avengers absolutely. Are you kidding me? But, like, um, they had the WrestleMania before. Uh, the the SNL before WrestleMania 2000, where The Rock was the host, and that was an awesome SNL, because Foley was on it, Triple H was on it, Big Show was on it, like they all beat the fuck out of SNL cast members. It was great. That but, was the one yeah. where The Rock did that uh, skit with uh, Chris Kattan, right? Yeah, yeah, that was good. By the way, in the chat room, I just invited Chris LaRusso on the show tomorrow. We have Nick uh, announcer Nick Fair on, but since Larry's not going to be here, I need I need somebody who's going to fill the Larry hole in the couch. Um, <laughs> There's, that's a, that's a void, and that means it's going to be a LaRusso hole fill, filler. Wait, no, you're right. Is that right? You're right. I don't think I'm coming back from St. Louis. <laughs> I'm gonna just stay there. Is, oh no! You have to you have to come back from St. Louis, otherwise Randy Orton's going to kill you. Oh man, you better watch out for out of nowhere. Why? Mm -hmm. That's where he's he from. knows that area better than anyone else. No, yeah. he doesn't. He's from there. No. Watch out for that uh, twerking Randy Orton. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Oh boy. If I see Randy Orton in St. Louis, I'm gonna troll him so hard he's gonna assume he's gonna like punch me in the face. Mm. He's gonna shit in your gym back. Breaking news from the yeah. chat room, guys. Chris LaRusso lets us know that the legends of Raw catering are all true. That's a That's fact. What I've heard. That's, That's it, what I've you heard. know that too. I confirm that You've as well. You've been back there, and I... you're not even one of the legends of the in or uh, sorry, the guardians of the independence. Nope. You're the guardian of the uh, uh, Megatron, Jumbotron. The, the Jumbotron. You're Jumbotron. guardian of the Jumbotron. Yes. Yep. That's a fact. Is he bringing pasta to throw? No, that's a different. Those are different guests. That's Mabo Italiano. Uh, anyways, <laughs> um, all right. Can can we talk about that asshole on Raw who brought her husband? <laughs> who brought her husband? Oh, Ronda Rousey brought her husband. Oh, was he in the yeah, ring right, or in the, the in the these, crowd? All right, these fucking garbage people need to get off my show. Was he was he in the crowd? Wait, you think that it's like the Chrisleys are showing up on your show or something? I it, wish the Chrisleys. It's the were... UFC Chrisleys. Oh no! It's the Ultimate Fighting Chrisleys. Oh no! <laughs> oh, they're musical good. guest. No, like, no, they want me to know what his name is. Guess what? I'm not going to know what his name is. Tyler because something. he he fashions himself a fighter too, Sorg. Yeah. He wants to be a wrestler. Oh boy! You just yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, because it because they think it's a payday. Mm -hmm. It's the only fucking reason. Well, this is true, and um, it, 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 so he he, uh, Ronda went over after utterly destroying Dana, um, to and and not le letting off of Dana Brooke. Which, by the way, wait, they redid they, that match. Yeah, yeah, well, they they, no, they didn't do the match the first time. Oh, that's right. Yeah, they when Ronda didn't break the hold. They should have disqualified her and give Dan given Dana the win. Hmm? They should have disqualified her and given Dana the win by DQ. 
Travis Brown is his name. No, 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 Sorg. We will not say that name. Oh, I'm sorry. He, no, Sorg. We're not he saying who that shall name. not be named. Uh, no, Tina says Voldemort. have uh, have Becky. Bring Voldemort had morals. <laughs> have Becky. Uh, just have Becky bring her bow. That that will make it even, right? Well, who's who's Becky's husband? No, what? no, oh. fuck that. Have Charlotte bring her bow. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Let's get a little sombra in there. The sombra, Andrade. Oh, oh, really? Yeah, I didn't know that was a thing. Oh yeah, that's a oh. thing. Oh, that's I... why Becky. That's why Charlotte's wearing an Ingobernable's hat on Twitter. Oh, oh, I, I'm not. I see. I'm not up on the pairings. Sorg. I'm not uh, the behind. Sorg. I'm not you, watching. You, my you gotta Divas. get. You gotta get up on this. I get, no, I don't. No, I don't. So, <laughs> I really don't. Like, it's just still, get a weekly still, update from Jen Carlin. It's it'll, just it'll it still fine. perplexes me that um, Alistair Black and Zelinda, Zelina Vega are like married. Hey, good, good, for, good for them. Good, good for them. But I just—they're on their honeymoon right now. Good, good for them. Oh, good for them. is that how they're? Is that why they're handling business in the Netherlands? As yeah, we were that... told tonight, why Alistair Black wasn't around? Yeah. Ricochet's partner, Alistair Black, handling I mean, business. I mean, to be fair, in the... I'm sure he was handling business. Yeah, I'm sure he was too. But anyways, <laughs> that's uh... a different kind of black mask. So <laughs> Larry just turned his mic off. Musical <laughs> guest. Oh, <laughs> uh, what else is worth talking about tonight? Women's <laughs> tag <laughs> team wrestling. Beth Phoenix, you guys. Okay, before Mike Beth complains Phoenix. about how another person over 40 is in the ring at WrestleMania. I'm not complaining about Beth Phoenix. No, I'm just worried about Edge. I'm not complaining about Beth Phoenix at all. I'm just worried about Edge being stuck home with the kids. I'm fine with Edge being stuck home at the kids. And I want to hear about it on his Strong podcast. was one of my favorite tag teams back in the day. Yes. What's that? And Up Strong was one of my favorite tag teams What's back that? in the day. That was uh, their that was their, their team name, right? Okay. And besides, Beth is 38. So she makes the cut. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. If this was two years from now, no. Get off my TV. <laughs> Anyone yeah. over forty? I'm you sorry. know, what? I'm I'm I, I'm totally cool with them having that match at WrestleMania if she's actually sticking around. If I'm, I'm if okay it's with a, it, even if, if she doesn't. If it's a Beth one. Put, what's that? I'm sorry. Uh, Beth put in her time. Mm -hmm. She needs a Mania match. As far know. as I know, like she never really got one. If it's a if it's a one off for this belt that's like two months old, they should uh, they should have somebody who's actually sticking around in the match. Like well, have I the iconics it... in there or have I don't know. I think what you're gonna end up with is a is a three way with the iconics. You think? Uh yeah. don't forget uh botch and botcher. What? She's talking about Nia Jackson. Oh yeah. See, that's right. Larry got it. That's right. Um, the other one, Tamina. Tamina. It's on. Right. The mic's on. No, I, it's, I can hear your hand on the oh, entire. Tapping. Sorry. He's he's caressing the rest of the pole. It was. It's, it's and... like tipping over constantly, so I have to like move it because yeah. it's only on two legs. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so if you hear a little j jostling, that's that's it's him. You got to make the wrong hand movement movements here. Anyways, <laughs> what are you doing over there? Sorry. What are you <laughs> doing, Mike? I was scratching the mic. Oh, that was you. I thought it was That Mike. wasn't me. Oh, jeez. That was not me. Thank you. It'll be much. a ladder match. Bad Mike, do you mean Tamina being the being the old? Says Dave. Tamina needs Tamina needs to get the fuck off my screen. Oh no. Oh no. No, she's not good. She nope. can't do anything. She can do a super kick. No, she can't. I've seen it. Get Look at how pants. high she gets. I can do that super kick. Oh. So you're saying you should team with Nia Jax? Yes. Um, I'd honestly do a better splash. How do, you look... <laughs> How do you look in all leather, Mike? What? I look phenomenal. <laughs> all right, there you go. NXT uh, women. Or... Musical guest. <laughs> uh, Tina's saying Beth was mostly in multi women's matches in uh, that yeah. WrestleMania Battle Royal. So, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No. Beth. But... Beth. Served her time, she Served should get a WrestleMania time. match. Like you're talking about the Divas Division was prison. I, I don't it think was. it's I don't think it's limited to the Divas Division. It but... was like sexy prison. N uh. So it was Orange is the new Beth. <laughs> mm. <laughs> See what I did there. Anyways, uh, Brock Lesnar was on our TVs tonight. 
Yeah, whoop de doo. Brock Lesnar was there. Yeah, Brock yeah. Lesnar was there. Well, he, he's got to show up show. at some point. Yeah, you know. What did he do? Did he, he just bounce around and leave? Raised his belt, handed it to Paul, distracted. Seth. He he caused a distraction for the main event that went a half hour. Contact. Because Drew McIntyre is boring as fuck. Drew, oh. Drew needs to be. Drew will. Drew will have his day. No, no, he shouldn't. He I should go he back down to NXT. I think he will have his day. Um, <laughs> that's a visual I did not need. Mike in full leather. Imagine it. You're welcome. Mad to leather, Mike. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Equal opportunity le- leather wearers on this show. Anyways. <laughs> Have an old leather week. Uh, anyways, <laughs> all leather week. <laughs> Look at the all leather week here on can, the Mayhem. Can show. that be this week while I'm in St. Louis and nope. not here? Yes. Well, well. I'm yeah. sure. I'm sure Larusso. They'll, they'll game. creep out the new guy. <laughs> no, he, he, he'd be fine with it. Oh my god, man! I don't know. Maybe. No, you need to get Bobby on the show and have him put the puppet in leather. Oh yeah, no, the turtle. <laughs> all the puppets in leather. <laughs> All of the puppets. No Undertaker. I don't think there's going to be Undertaker this WrestleMania. Um, no, there will be. He, this someone is, has. He's someone being, has to interrupt Elias Sorg. Yes. I heard. I heard he's getting signed to AEW. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. And you know what? He's gonna be Jim, hope, Jim Ross's I hope announcing he partner. Does. I hope he does. I'm sure they'll make great black and gold T-shirts for him. <laughs> he's gonna be the color commentator for them. <laughs> I don't know. Commentary might be pretty dead then. Oh, uh, Batista uh, called in an interview this week. Get out of my office. <laughs> yeah. All right, Big Dave. What did he want? <laughs> did he just say, I got what I Mike, want? Michael I got Cole what I want. Just, you know, I would have given everything for Michael Cole to start the interview. So you must be excited James Gunn is coming back. <laughs> I would have given everything for that to be the start of the interview. But it wasn't. But yeah, no, it's like, oh no, this goes back way further than evolution. Like if we find out Batista, like got turned away at a Triple H autograph signing. <laughs> he was originally Triple H's uh, bodyguard. Yeah, that's pretty much. No, he wasn't though. He was Devon's bodyguard. He was. Deacon, he was Deacon Batista. Deacon Batista. God, I forgot about that. And he was Leviathan in uh, OVW, you know. Yep. And he was groomed and, and talked about how Triple H uses people and, tr- and, and Vince should fire him. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen anytime no. soon. No. <laughs> no. So, I mean. But was... he, did say he, he did say something positive. He said he was going to put an end to Triple H's in-ring career, which, please, <laughs> go <laughs> Big Dave. Oh boy, go Big Dave, go Big Dave, go Big Dave, go go Big Dave, go. Big he deserves Dave, a Warrior go. Award if he can do that. I'm feeling pretty good about Mayhem Mania beating WrestleMania this year. Uh, I don't know. Is Mayhem Mania going to be eight hours and seventeen matches? When are we going to take our bathroom break? Oh, I know exactly. Where <laughs> <laughs> um, hold on, hold on, Sorg, Sorg. Can you feel the winds? AJ Styles and Randy Orton. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Oh. Really? It's that? It's not Corbin and uh, Kurt Angle? I'm convinced that's still not happening. Really? I I have a funny feeling. This is me. I have a funny feeling. That match is going to be two seconds. Like, it's going to be Corbin, go- Corbin going for the deep six. Kurt spins around to an ankle slam. He slaps on the ankle lock. Gray finds the leg, and Corbin taps immediately. And Kurt Angle gets on the mic, says goodbye. Then all of a sudden you hear, and John Cena comes out, and he says, Kurt, you know what I love about you and your career? You always had ruthless aggression, and he slaps him in the face, and they have an impromptu match. I like your fantasy booking. Bold predictions from Mad Mike. Well, the bold, very detailed. By Did way, you put that on your way. bracket? What? For your uh, oh no, your uh, WrestleMania bracket. Oh God, I wish. Jeez, I wish. 
See, like that literally took me two seconds to write. We're definitely not getting that. We're Man. just gonna get. We're gonna get an eight minute Kurt Angle that, squash match against Baron. That Carter. fits right on a napkin. You can slip under somebody's door, or <laughs> reply all. Uh, anyways, um, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, raw. It was a raw. There was wrestling. Oh. I would say there's more wrestling than there was last week, Mike. At least there had there had to be by nature. <laughs> so, seemed pretty into it. Uh, I know we were pretty happy with it here uh, in town last week. Of course, we had, you know, a lot of familiar faces we were looking out for. So you were also cool. live. You were also live, and yeah. and you were you were watching a movie, looking at the extras. Let's be honest. Uh yeah, <laughs> actually, we, we, yeah. We, actually we were. Yeah, let's we were, be yeah. honest. Like yeah, <laughs> like oh, there's Triple H, like one of the big you know biggest guys in in wrestling, and it's just like oh hey look, Chris Larusso's over there. <laughs> Hey, that's my trainer. <laughs> exactly. Uh, uh, but anyways, uh, with that, uh, <laughs> tomorrow we are going to have the Wrestling Mayhem show. We're going to have uh, announcer Nick Farah and maybe Chris LaRusso, apparently. Uh, why the hell not? It's Mayhem Mania. Musical it's- guest Chris LaRusso. We'll find out how much he can sing, and uh, maybe he won't kick me in the face this time. We'll, we'll see. Uh, actually, he has not been back since he kicked me in the face. That oh. means he you got a he has a receipt coming. Got a receipt coming. That's right. That's true. I don't know what that's going to be, but Sorg punishment and mayhem mania. I don't know. He had an awkward moment with Jock Sampson at the show this week. We'll give him the wheel of jobbers. I don't know. Kendo I, stick. Hit was, him with the kendo stick. Like Jock Sampson came out and he comes out to that like, like I want to steal your woman music, and then he like like patted, steals his woman. He then he stole Chris Larusso after he lost to Britt Baker, and I'm just like is. Like we 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 both went to the break and we're just like, like me and Rob were just like, did did did, did you guys did you feel that? Yeah, that was real broke back mountain. Anyways, we'll ask Chris Larusso that and other uh, questions if he shows up on the show tomorrow. Uh, so uh, that's from IWC's eighteen. That'll be on Indie Wrestling uh, Network and Indie Wrestling US uh, later this week as it gets edited and uh, so much other great content is going on over there. <laughs> There is a large plate glass window at Sorg's, and wrestling has issues with large plate glass. Yes, and there's a functioning barbershop next door now, too. Um, Fun Mad Mike story. I've actually been thrown through a plate glass window. Oh, nice. It wasn't real glass. Okay. But I was still thrown through it as a youth. What did you do? Um, me and my boys were wrestling around in a, in a high school gymnasium that was not our school. And the glass they have was like the glass that like doesn't shatter. Mm -hmm. So when I got thrown through it, it, it was like straight, straight. And then a healthy Mad Mike ass impression from when (laughs) I was 14. All right. We learn Mm -hmm. more every day. Mad Mike 483 on the tweets. Also, YouTube.com slash Poppy. Larry. Still with the Poppy? Always with the Poppy. Oh, God. Poppy. When is she... I want I want musical guest Poppy. I think I saw Poppy has a network, a channel on Pluto TV or something. Yep. Yeah. Wouldn't be surprised. Larry, where can we concert. follow your adventures as you head to um, Trans World in the land of Randy Orton? Uh, you can uh, find me on Instagram at Dark Forge Studios. Mm-hmm. And uh, on Facebook at Dark at Dark Forge, Dark Forge Studios, whatever. Yeah, you'll find it there. Yeah, so I'll be I'll be uh, Instagramming, posting things throughout the week of all the fun stuff. Let us know about the wild world of Trans World. Yes. What? Right now, there's just pictures of all the stuff in the basement. Yes, in tubs. Yes, and some good and some cool stuff he's worked on. Yep. Check out everything SorgatronMedia dot com, uh, Bardic Music, uh, Bardic, uh, Bardic Mystery Tour. There you go. I think I got all the words right. D and D podcast from Sorgatron Media that has recently joined our network. Go check them out on the feed, on the master feed, the Sorgatron Media master feed, or, or subscribe to them directly. Look up for the Bardic Mystery Tour. Or check out all the fun stuff over at SorgatronMedia dot com, including our friends at Pittsburgh Current, our friends at uh fishing without bait scarehouse podcast and so much more thank you everybody that's joined us here in the chat room here on this monday night we'll be back again next week with the wrap up after rock goes off air and talk about whatever wrestling's on our mind until then keep it wrapped up Just-
This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.